Hello, we're back. I'm here with a delegation from Hazard High School. Yes. And I have Chelsea Duff, who is the teacher there, who leads this community problem solving project. And we got Chase and Brandon, who are part of that, and your project deals with hunger. So uh, uh, go ahead, and Chelsea, tell us about the project. Uh, the garden was started about three years ago, but it has went through many hands by the time we got it. So when we got it, um, we actually put the money to use. We ran into some issues this year with the location of the garden, so we ended up moving it closer to school. So when we done that, it set us back. But our idea was um, we send food home with kids on the weekend so they're not hungry all weekend because some kids only eat at school. So what we were doing is we're growing food, uh, fresh food for them to access over the weekend. So it's not all just box pastas and things like that. We also have a cooking class that we were wanting to let her introduce the foods and how to cook them at home so they know different things to do with them. Okay. So uh, Brandon and Chase, go ahead and chime in here and talk about how, how have you been involved in this project and have you enjoyed doing the work? See, I've been around farming and garden all my life. That's how I got. That's how I got started. I've been working in the garden since I was four. So, uh, the, one of the previous teachers that actually started this, me and her was kind of talking. So I kind of got the ball rolling with it. I, I always told her, "Let's get a garden." Just joking around. And one day she come to me and said, "We've got a grant. We're actually starting a garden." So I was, okay. So. I had a few connections with the uh, local Perry County Farmers Market, so I kind of uh, tied the knots in those loose ends there and got a few heads thinking about different ideas on what we can do, and we come up with an idea, and then sadly that teacher left, so yeah. it went into another hand, and it kind of was bouncing all over the place, and we didn't have a set idea until... And Chase, uh, describe your role in this project and what has it meant to you? Well, unlike Brandon, I was pretty new to farming, so this has all been a learning experience for me, but I knew the basics. I've, I've been more of just helping build beds and the, using the pipes and stuff to keep the frost off the plants, keep everything from dying, uh, water plants, grow lights. That's basically what I do. Uh, it's been rough. We've had a few setbacks. Plants die off. We just have to start over. Uh, but we're getting it going. It's actually starting to look pretty nice now. Yeah, I don't know much about farming. It's I, hard. <laughs> I, when I was growing up in Texas, we picked cotton. And then my uncle had a, a ranch up in Montana. He had wheat, and so I drove a wheat truck until I wrecked it. So that's about, yeah. <laughs> that's about my extent of doing that. But, you know, you mentioned that, Brandon, about you've been in the garden. This is almost a lost art. You know, yeah. Here in eastern Kentucky, I mean, we used to farm till the tops of these hillsides, but that's gradually gone away. So it's and neat that you've, you've still got He's more of a teacher. Yeah. He yeah. teaches me. I know nothing either. See, at the yeah. farmer's market, I'm the youngest vendor but I've been there longer than anybody there. So what do you sell there? Anything and everything. Okay. Well, now, of course, we have a growing season that's relatively short, and so, but part of the school year then, when you're going to send foods home, uh, you may not have food grown there. Is there some way, strategies you got to have foods grown? Well, this year is basically trial. So we started seedlings inside. But then, you know, you have weekends where you're not yep. there to water, so somebody's got to come in. And you have spring break, winter break, things like that. And I'm not knowledgeable, so I let the plants uh, take root or they become root bound. And yep. we lost a lot of them like that. It just, sometimes it's dis discouraging, but you learn from that stuff. Yep. So our plan is if we can grow them, store them, or learn how to can them, then they can take those home. Canning's a lost art as well. Yeah, that, that's very true. So, yeah. Okay. Well, this sounds like a valuable project, and you're doing it for the right reasons, too. You know, I guess you're, there has to be a level of satisfaction to know that you're helping people that really need help. It's a big thing. There's a lot of kids that, that need it. Yeah. It's a shame we're not in Yuma, Arizona. You know, they have five growing seasons in Yuma. We have a very because short one. 
And we have fall still, yeah, so it's yeah, hard yeah, for us yeah, right that's, now. that's true. Well, hey, I want to thank you, thank Chelsea, you. and, and for, uh, what y'all are doing this project. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thank you.